Well, you guys, out of nowhere, they released a trailer for Marvel's The Thunderbolts Asterisk, which is what we should all call it now because they put that in the title. I don't know. Well, is there a way to pronounce the asterisk without saying the word asterisk? Is it like Thunderbolts, you know, kind of the same way you would be like, who, who has the record for home runs? Barry Bonds, but asterisk, you know, Thunderbolts. Let's, let's do that. I think we're going to do that. So they put out a trailer for a movie, Thunderbolts, uh, another one of the movies that I've made a pitch for. Uh, especially, you know, we're really kicking in a high gear because we got Deadpool and Wolverine just finished and now the Thunderbolts marketing starts uh, and I watched it. This is the same trailer, although there's a little bit of new stuff uh, that was leaked after I think San Diego Comic-Con or D23 or one of those. Um, and so we were familiar with a little bit of it, but I just wanted to talk over a couple things that I think are great. Uh, things maybe I'm less excited about, but like there, it, honestly, overall, I think this trailer looks pretty cool. I think this sells the movie in a way that before I had seen the original, like the first version of this trailer a month or two ago, I did not fully get. Um, but I think this does a good job of setting this up as a movie you'd want to see. Also, this is another one of those videos where my cat is on my lap and uh, this we're just going to have to deal with it. It's the only way we're going to get through this. And you know what? He would like the Thunderbolts because in the comics, I don't know, do any of the rest of them have cats? So Bucky has a cat named Alpine, beautiful white cat, fluffy cat. I, I wouldn't be sh shocked in the new White Widow comic where Yelena is like living a home life. I don't remember if she has an animal, but I wouldn't be shocked if she does. I think it's a nice way to humanize some of the tougher Avengers, the ones who are known for fighting and, you know, killing and stuff. Give them one of the pets that is, well, some, some people would say are the cute or delicate pets as opposed to like a big tough dog, when in reality, they're monsters who want to do nothing but bite. By the way, I got some guys over here. I got both Baron Zemos, so Citizen V and regular Baron Zemo, and then US Agent over there. So the Thunderbolts, and there he goes. So the Thunderbolts is a team that, it's interesting. If you've never heard of the Thunderbolts before, you may be confused by what this team is because in the comics they were started by Baron Zemo as an attempt to take the place of the Avengers who were all gone for reasons that are a little too complicated to explain they would all come back later but for a while all the superheroes were gone a new team of guys came up and they were the Thunderbolts led by Citizen V but secretly it was Zemo and a bunch of villains who were just masquerading as heroes the long arc of it is they decided they actually liked being heroes because it was better and they a lot of them reformed and Zemo you know Zemo still Zemo but uh that team stuck around for a while it was pretty popular in like the 90s then they were reformed as a sort of black ops squad i say suicide squad but they weren't really the suicide squad um, but they, at one point they were reformed by general ross they did do i guess suicide squad missions when they were working for norman osborn but anyway so post the original zemo team they were closer to a suicide squad although they weren't prisoners working directly for the government but they were usually like anti-heroes or bad guys who were hired to do something usually by the government uh, a lot of the times when the government was run by a supervillain where whether you consider red hulk a supervillain or not but like characters like that would recruit some characters that were you know murderers that were heroes like electra and then that would be a thunderbolt in the movie what it seems like it is is the anti-heroes who are all supporting characters in other stories are coming together to form something and you know it's called thunderbolts but it may that asterisk may be there because they're gonna be something else at the end of the movie who knows but I actually really like the hook that they kind of set up for this trailer which is this idea that yelena is just kind of unfulfilled and drifting through life like i think that's a really solid setup is her talking about the superhero stuff that she's doing and the same vocabulary we would use to describe like a midlife or quarter life crisis like oh what am i doing i don't know who i am and then i threw myself into work but that didn't help and then putting that in the context of spies i think that's great i think that's very fun i think gillian looks fine i think alexi is fine he is really like a goofball comic relief character seems like and it also seems like he won't be as big of a player as you know john walker or ghost or any of those guys so that's probably for the best you don't want him you know being goofy and silly all the time but it is fun to have that around and i like the setup where they're all fighting each other i think the new ghost design specifically looks great now i know in the comics ghost has looked like ghost did in ant-man and the wasp 2 or ant-man 2 or ant-man and the wasp i didn't hate that 
But I did kind of wish, I think what I, what I wanted from Ghost and what I think, because by the time I started reading comics, back when Ghost was on the Thunderbolts, it was a more ethereal kind of alien look. It was a lot of, you know, this big bulb for a head, little red glowy eyes, kind of some tatters, almost looking like a ghost you would see haunting Scooby-Doo or something like that. So I know we're not doing that, but it makes sense because she's a spy. So like she would have her outfit all set up, but I like that she has a very distinct face. I think it makes sense because otherwise she'd look a lot like Taskmaster does now. And I think it looks great. Obviously, like everybody else loved the shot where she phases through the knife, grabs it and throws it. Very cool. Uh, I think John Walker's fun. I like, I, I feel like people think I hate the character of John Walker. I don't. I hate the arc that they gave John Walker at the end of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Because I think setting him up, starting him lower makes him more interesting here. But I think the, re the redemption they gave him just doesn't feel like it sat right with me. It just didn't feel like they earned it in the show. But I like Wyatt Russell. I think it looks cool. Like I'm down for that. I think this character could be interesting, especially because he just has a shield, which is different than everybody else who just seems to have guns. Oh, and I like that John now has a shield that looks bad. Like it doesn't look like a fake Captain America shield anymore. It is a round shield, like, so it's got the concentric circles, but it looks dingy. Uh, and I like that his costume looks dingy. It, it is the same costume. I was a little curious if it was the exact same one that he wears at the end of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That's his U.S. agent costume, and it is, but it's clearly seen some wear and tear, so I think that's fun. Taskmaster, I was always like, I think Taskmaster in Black Widow worked for Black Widow, but I think if we were going to continue with that character, we need something else. We don't get a lot of personality from Antonia Masters or whatever we're calling this character. Um, I guess it's not even Antonia Masters, but in Antonia or whatever the Russian version of a Antoinette. I don't remember. So we get the least out of her. Uh, I do think I, when I saw this in the leaked version, and, and this is kind of my fault for like judging a leaked version, although clearly I can be convinced. Uh, I didn't like the look of the face, the Taskmaster mask. In this more clear, you know, 1080p version of it, I actually think it looks pretty good. I think what didn't sell me originally was it just looked so flat and I think what you get here is it has more texture it doesn't just look like a flat white mask it has some contouring that gives it a little bit more definition also whatever it's made out of makes it look less like just the plain old hockey mask I think the fact that they use a bow is still silly also the character that's using a bow in the trailer I assume that's ghost right like that looks like ghost but in my head, I'm like, what does Olga Kurianko even look like uh, right now? But it has to be Ghost just borrowed her bow and arrow. I guess it's a little silly to me that this Taskmaster still uses a bow and arrow because, like, she had all the Black Widow skills of gun. Unless she has all the fancy Hawkeye arrows, gun is just as good, especially if you're killing people. But I'm sure she has her reasons. What else? What else? What else? I like the shots. I like the shot of all the doors closing. Good. Uh, Bob looked cool. So this character is almost certainly the sentry that character is always my default explanation for what a retcon is retroactive continuity he did not exist until the 2000s when they invented this character but they pretended he had always been around in marvel comics we all just forgot about him because of a magic spell uh, i don't know how much they're going to do with him i think this is my one like kind of insight into this i've been waiting for the trailer to come out to like mention this i have a feeling this is just the theory that the sentry in the Thunderbolts, because sentry is usually a another attempt to recreate the super soldier serum with some sort of, you know, magic chemical made of suns. There's, it's a lot of connection to like the power of suns, but it's never super clear what it is. I think it is going to be a gamma related thing. I think he is going to be another shot at creating a hole. Now, why do I think this? I watch Seth Meyers a lot. Obviously, I'm a corrections jackal. I have the mug and everything. And he did a day drinking with Julia Louis-Dreyfus. And he didn't ask her too much about the Marvel Cinematic Universe or anything like that. But he did ask her a little something about the Hulk. Just seemed like randomly. That was like a trivia question that he gave her in a game. And her answer was very specific. And she seemed to be kind of like, and I know what happens when you get hit with gamma radiation. You, you glow and you fly around or whatever. And I'm like, oh, that is probably because this is the one that she's familiar with. And not to say that she hasn't seen them all, but like, it's probably, that's top of mind, I would imagine. And it, he's the only character that could conceivably be a gamma character in this. So yeah, I bet, I bet Sentry is going to be connected to Hulk, which is interesting because Sentry is a character that can fight the Hulk in World War Hulk. So. 
if they ever do that, that could explain why they're evenly matched. We see a little bit of his boot, I guess, in that one shot, so cool. His vibe is very Supergirl from Flash, I'm fine with that. Also, Mortimer jumped off my lap, so we're good. We got a first look, and this is, I, I think this is fun. Uh, Geraldine Viswanathan, she is so funny in the show Miracle Workers, and I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, but I think I'm close. Uh, she is playing a role that people have theorized is like the character that will eventually become a songbird. I'm doubtful, but like, who knows? You know, she seems to just be Val's assistant. Also, just Julie Louis Drive is so good, such a good bad guy, and a role she should have more. Because the more you watch Veep, the more she just is a bad guy. And like, I mean, she starts pretty bad, but like, the more time you spend with her, the more it's like, oh, she's just like, like evil. Her brain is broken. And uh, I think that she, that line about, you know, there's good guys and there's bad guys, but then there's, there's bad guys and there's worse guys, I think is good. I feel like I'm forgetting someone. Oh yeah, Bucky. A lot of the new footage in this trailer was Bucky. And by new footage, I mean stuff that wasn't in the original trailer, like that bit where he flips over the truck. Um, you know, he's cool. I think he's like a senator in these now or something, is, is what I read somewhere. What else? Bucky has that gun again. The one that fires a magnetic disc that like flips over a truck. <laughs> The one from Winter Soldier. I like that. I like those callbacks. I think they're cute. Like how in Doctor Strange, he uses the, you know, the vase that doesn't do anything. And then Doctor Strange 2, Christine uses the vase and it does do things. She knows how it works. I think those those things are cute. Uh, I just think it's funny that, like, he's never used it. He hasn't used his gun since. It doesn't seem to be part of his kit. But I guess, like, he used it once in Winter Soldier. And ever since then, it's been like, I would love to have another excuse to flip over a car. And he's bringing it everywhere and it just never comes up. But uh, yeah, yeah, no, he's, he's cool. I like him. But overall, what I think I liked about this trailer is just that first line. That is enough to sell me on it. Like I was drifting through life. I threw myself into work and then spy stuff happening over that. Um, I think these, you know, I said this on Twitter, but I, for one, prefer our new depressed Avengers. It does make the original Avengers look kind of silly where it's like what does the first Avengers start with like Captain America's punching bags and Jim and Iron Man's flying around making his new power source or whatever and if these guys are kind of the new Avengers right like this is what the Avengers are now it's just like a guy in a really messy apartment a guy looking at his phone being sad because he doesn't look cool on his phone just like yeah I like those guys I can relate to them um, I think it's interesting this is going to come out next year because next year is, this year is the year of the anti-hero. This is Deadpool, this is Venom. Next year is the year of the plain old hero. That's Fantastic Four, that's Superman, that's Captain America. I think it's interesting that right in the middle you have this anti-hero thing. Although, you know, they're guys that shoot guns and stuff, but like that's what Captain America does in his movies. It's just kind of a little bit different because... He's like Captain America and he's just doing whatever he wants. Whereas these guys work for evil Julia Louis Dreyfus, so they feel a little, a little worse about it. And I guess in this world that doesn't seem to care about the Avengers anymore, like, and it's funny because it's that. I think you could kind of read this, this is the last thing I'll say, as like kind of a meta thing, right? Because this is the Avengers, but it's the Avengers in the Marvel Phase 5, where people are kind of not psyched about it. And the Avengers well, used to be this big, humongous event, and now people are like, oh, Avengers, okay, yeah, I'll probably see it. I don't know who that guy is, I don't know who that guy is, but uh, yeah, uh, Hugh Jackman, yeah, yeah, that's fun. But I think it's funny that right in the middle of that, we're going to get a team like the Avengers that shows up, and they're like, I don't really like me either. I'm not super into this whole superhero thing. I'd rather just hang out and look at my phone. And we're all going to be like, I relate to you, depressed Avengers. You guys are my real Avengers. Forget about those other Avengers. Everyone get out your phones and scroll. So yeah, I think overall, this is a very effective trailer. Uh, color palette's interesting. It seems like it's going for a lot of darks, browns, golds, blacks. Uh, I think that is a choice. Obviously, the weirdest thing about this trailer is the movie comes out in May. And it is currently September. That is a while from May. I thought it was weird when they released the Cap 4 trailer when they did, but this one, like, we have October, November, December, January, February, March, April, for like eight months until this movie comes out. And I understand you want that out there, get people excited. I hope this isn't one of those things by the time the movie comes out, we've seen 50 trailers. Like, I liked looking at Deadpool and Wolverine, how little of that movie we actually saw in the trailers, so it'd be nice if they could keep that going here. But otherwise, very good. Good job, Marvel. Good job making Ghost look cool and making Taskmaster look cool. And the other ones, they all look cool. Everybody looks cool.
So thank you for watching. That's all I got. Stay safe. I'll see you next time.